Om Namaskaraya. Today we will start the last chapter, chapter 12, Consumer Protection. In the chapter Marketing, we observe that the marketing process starts with the consumer's needs and ends at the consumer's satisfaction. The marketer always has to keep the consumer in his mind during the entire process of production. The concept of marketing has changed the scenario from seller to consumer. Today, the approach cavit emptor, which means let the buyer beware, has changed to the approach cavit venditor, which means let the seller beware and consumer has become the king in the market. Okay. Still, some unscrupulous and greedy businessmen try to exploit the ordinary consumers to increase their profit. They adopt the tactics like unfair trade practices, then adulterated food products, false and misleading advertisement and hoardings, then black marketing, overpricing. So, there is a need to provide the protection to consumers from such kind of exploitation. For this purpose, the government has taken many initiatives to relieve the general public from exploitation by creating many laws, rules and regulations. This chapter concentrates on understanding consumer protection, its awareness, consumers' right and responsibilities, how to use such rights, the availability of remedies and existence of various governmental and non-governmental organization. Hence, consumer protection means protecting the interest of consumer. Okay? Consumer protection means protecting and promoting the consumer's interest by educating consumers about their rights and responsibilities, then protecting consumers against unfair trade practices of sellers, then providing speedy and unexpensive redressal of consumers' grievances, and encouraging consumers to form organizations or associations to promote and protect consumers' interest. Right. Next day, we will discuss the importance of consumer protection.